Welcome back to another episode guys. You're going to see some footage here from a quick check I did with my mother today. Um, went out up onto the trap line and caught two big beavers. Good time. Um, check it out. We were only out there for an hour and a half or so. Um, checked a coyote trap. Some guy ran over it in his truck. But he's going to um, shoot coyotes off of the bait that I put up there. So he'll give me a call if he gets one. Um, we are going to uh, skin them out tomorrow and then be checking on Thursday. Catch you then. Huh. Um, set but destroyed. All right, so there's the remake dive stick. <laughs> Big old beaver back there. He might be bigger than the other one. Oh, let's get out of here. We got that other 330 in this puddle that snapped. We'll, uh, we'll go reset that quick and get out of here. There's the remake. It's, uh, I don't know, four or five inches underneath, blocking around it. I gotta throw some lure down, we're out of here. Wonder what happened to his tail. Mm. Fight with somebody. There's a better look at that one we just caught in that uh, crossover. Great big one, he's got a big notch. Big notch out of his tail there. Pretty cool. He might beat the, the first one of the year and wait, he's up there. That's for sure. Number three on the season. I love it. All right, we're out here with mom on the side where we set up with Molina at the very end of yesterday, or Sunday. Bang, we got another one. Um, 25, that's my guess right now. But still uh, still on the trap. We'll take him out, give you a better look at the truck. He's more than 25. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. My uh, homemade setters from high school. Big hard casters. And look at this. He's got a hole. Clean through his tail. Clean through. Pretty crazy. But we'll uh, put him on the bank here and get this reset and uh, give you a better look. Holy cow, that's not 25 pounds. <laughs> This one might have five pounds on him, I bet. All right, so those safeties, there's one right there not on the jaw and then I could see the other on the other side it's not on the jaw so we got another beaver in the river set um, this is where Melina and I caught the first one of the season and now Izzy and I are out and we got another one just try and hook up the spring there Oh, that one might actually be 25. Um, we'll get out of the trap, reset this again. I might have to get the waders from the truck, but I'm gonna wear gloves. 
It is cold water. That stick. <laughs> That's the end of that. Have that stick up a little bit. Yeah, it's a green one. If they chew it off, whatever, we'll reset it. Um, I know my safeties are off. I'll reach in there. Take off the uh, safety itself. Do the only thing we've been using. Tiny dab of caster, right on the bank. No idea where these beavers are coming from. No house nearby. Ooh. No house that I can see nearby anyway. All right, so we got Izzy and I out here on the line. We are at the culvert set. We got the number two jump on the drag. And we got the 110 back up there on the secondary culvert. And that's just there for uh, me. Put the, uh, the beaver in this. All right, so we got one of our uh, 155 Martin boxes here, or cages. Um, we've got it baited with beef suet right now. And just down the road, it's not even a quarter mile, we have another set, which was messed with. Um, the duck in the back had some feathers yanked off. So we rebaited that one with beaver and left a wing of the duck in it. Um, it's relured um, for the most part. We didn't put caster on it. Got it. This one is going to get moved up to the cedar spot, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. But I think I want to leave it at the cedar. Um, we'll give it some time there, a couple weeks at least. But we're going to just hope it doesn't go off in the truck. I'm gonna try and get that otter really far in there. So I'm gonna spin the jaws so that the trigger is in the back. Pinch it up. Make sure my safeties aren't on. Hide that cable. A little bit of cover. Nothing in front of those, in front of the trigger. Safety's off, it's lured, it's baited, it's staked down. We are out of here, on to the next. You take this out on the open road ever? Take that thing off any sweet jumps. Which way am I going? Uh, just follow that trail kind of to the water. All right, so we're walking in. This is the spot with two 330s. Two 330s, a foothold, and a 110. Um, I really don't know if there's any muskrats here. I kind of doubt it. They're probably out on the river itself. I mean, there could be back here, but 110's probably frozen. We'll pull it. Um, we might pull a 330 out of here and go drop it in another spot. Um, and if we have another huge beaver, we'll pull the other one too and just move that foothold out the ways. Here we go. Action. We got a uh, number four jump here. The beavers snapped it. So we are going to take the whole apparatus and move it out farther um, and we're going to put it on the edge of the river where it's deeper um, they already know that there's a trap here okay. sometimes sometimes they'll come back um, I don't see any toenails or anything in the trap so they must have like hit it with their body or something so we'll uh, we'll give it a good shot out there for a little while try and put it in a spot that's not going to freeze up Conibear is untouched. We're going to pull that on the way back and we'll just set out there.
You have nothing away, Ian. I'll do my best. <laughs> and I'll try and step so that you can just look next to me. See anything? Is it right in front of my face? I have no idea. I can't even see it either. Okay, great. It's right. It's right down there, though. The uh, trap is definitely gone. Right. I might see a beaver in there. I'm not certain yet. We'll jump in and take a look. All right. So we got. Um, what would this make? Number six. Good size main beaver. Real good one. He uh, bunged up his lip a lot. Look at that. And uh, take him out of the trap. We'll give you a better look at the truck. So we got that remake in there, 330 blocked off in the channel again, fully underwater, um, we've gone two for two there, and we're going to put a foothold just on the other side here. Right, so we got a big beaver house right behind us there, and uh, just here towards the trail and tunnel over to the other side. Got this nice set here. Got a number four there under the water on a drowner <laughs> to one of my tire chains because I have no other drowner weights. A little bit of caster. I'm going to bed that trap a little bit better and uh, knock out a shelf for it because the water probably will drop a little bit more. But take a look at this. This one though. Alright, there you go. Better look at that one. Um, this is the third beaver from this location. Um, no chips in the tail. Pretty much empty casters though. Not ideal, but that one's pretty much empty. That one's got a bunch of caster in it though. Um, we gotta bait this with some beaver. Go down the road, we've got a handful of other traps and we've got a mink foothold that we can put in somewhere else too if we want to. And we got a 330 to either set here or at a channel for otter. On to the next. Hey! Look in the back. That, that's the guy that gave us the coyote. We, uh, we got bit off again here. Or not here, but um, another 330 was bit off, biting the dive stick in half. A little caster in the bushes, a little caster above it, try and get him out this way again. Um, if I don't get one here, I'm going to move it back into that over there, I think. Uh, that should do it. Last one of the day, skunk. But another double on beavers. So here's the, uh, the two from the day, um, got the one with a little chip in the river set and then this one in the crossover by the river as well, but uh, behind the little puddle that we set because of Matt. Um, beautiful beavers. Um, this one has the lip injury. Very interesting to see that, I've never seen one with uh, kind of that messed up bottom lip maybe smash it on a rock or something but um, good day some nice beavers great catches right by the head 
We replaced one of the triggers on a 330 with a brand new trigger, so it should be good. That's the one in the crossover. Um, it was Izzy's first day on the trout line. It was amazing. I'm really happy she could make it out and catch a beaver with me, um, help me out. But we're gonna show the dogs and then I gotta get to skinning. So thanks for watching. Come back again.